Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. So tonight, we're going back in time to 1963. So, I am going to review Doctor Who, an unearthly child. Yup, this is the great episode. I love it. It's one of my first ever Hartnell stories ever. It's a classic. This four-part adventure originally transmitted on November 23rd through December 14th, 1963. And yep, this is the first appearances of William Hartnell as the first Doctor. The story is set in a junkyard off on Totter's Lane. In the story began in a Coal Hill school, the two school teachers, Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, are curious about Susan. It's a student. It gives the list address investigation about the physics of mathematics about it. So, the two school teachers have stumbled across a police box, a program main prop, also known as the TARDIS. As they heard Susan's voice, a mysterious old man known as a doctor. He is no ordinary man but he's like a grumpy. The TARDIS is a no ordinary police box. The two school teachers enter inside the TARDIS and they discover that the police box is bigger on the inside than the outside. And they discover how futuristic things. So Susan explains that it's a malfunction in the circuitry. So she lives inside with her grandfather as the doctor. So the TARDIS takes up into the Stone Age of 100,000 BC in the Stone Age. They call themselves the Patholic tribes and discovered the way in prison in a large cave and they the only way is to make fire before they reach inside the TARDIS. The Doctor, Ian, and Susan adventure outside. The Doctor's noticing that there is something wrong with the malfunction. It's still the police box. The com because due to a fault into of the chameleon circuit has been shorted out. So, as they barely escape by the explosion, Ian knows how to produce fire. And all the K men around it gather around and how to explain uh, how the doctor make fire to the people, which almost caused an explosion. The group meditated the separation of the tribe began to Chased them. Yep, they chase around into the forest and they go right back when they started from outside. When they, well, all the group of K men started chasing and, and chasing all away. Uh, suddenly, the police box begins to disappear. When they try to uh, throw it like a a target of arrows, but suddenly the mysterious police box has been disappeared in the blink of their eyes. So, as they travel to the destination, even the doctor doesn't know what the TARDIS could land next. However, the radiation meter of the TARDIS is dangerously and begins to radiation. So the Doctor, Ian, Barbara, and Susan are going to change as the meter begins to read danger. So, that's how the story begins. 
So, my thoughts of Doctor Who, An Unearthly Child, is a very good story. And I love the incidental music of Delia Devonshire. Even though she was uncredited, but it was Ron Granger, the one who helped compose the theme music. Peter Brackey. The guy who designed the TARDIS. Even though the th the rest of the third three episodes are quite underrated. So, Unearthly Child gives 5 out of 5. Good episode. Let's take a look at this particular adventure. Here's the first Doctor and Susan. And here's the rocks behind there. Here's the old BBC logo. Here's the front. The spine and the back, plus some production stills. On the DVD extras, we have audio commentary by producer Verity Lambert, director Wars Husson, and actors Carol Ann Ford and William Russell, moderated by Gary Russell. No relation. Pilot episode with 40 minute unedited version and digitally remastered. And here's the disc for An Unearthly Child. Prior to this filming, it was the filming begins on the 27th of September, 1963. That's when the BBC began a test run of the series Doctor Who. Unfortunately, there has been some uh, blunders and malfunctioning sets, including one of the cameramen tripped over. And also, half of the TARDIS console door won't open. So, unfortunately, the producer decided to reshoot the pilot episode. And the original one, the doctors gave it more like a grumpiness, and he wears a suit and a tie. However, the unaired pilot version was never been broadcast until it was finally aired on BBC Two in 1991 as part of the Lime Grove documentary. This four-part adventure, An Unearthly Child, was rebroadcast on BBC Two on November 2nd to November 4th, 19 no November 2nd through November 5th, 1981. As part of the Five Faces of Doctor Who. Well, that's it for this week's Doctor Who review. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.